I'm just trying to find my way. This is this is all new for me, and I want to show it to you guys. Even you know, we're gonna show the the struggles and also the highs when those eventually come up as well. Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. This is actually gonna be my first vlog for the new year. So first of all, happy new year to everyone. Hope you all had a great holiday season, but today's Thursday, it's Thursday, January 7th, and it's the first time that I've been able to film anything all week, because for those of you that don't know, things just got a whole lot crazier around here. It's my first ever week of clerkship. I am at this point 50% done medical school and it's crazy. I, I can't even believe it, but here we are. I'm on my first ever core rotation this week. I'm starting up in family medicine. And if I don't stop vlogging soon, I'm actually gonna be late for clinic duty today. So I'm gonna get going. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Look at those beautiful stars. I wanna take a trip to Mars. Nothing can break. All right, guys, so it's 8.15 in the morning. I just got to work. Uh, I actually don't start till 8.30, but I always like to get here early and before the doctor. That way I could review all of the different patients that we're gonna be seeing that day. Just have like a general case of, of what we're gonna expect. Um, I'm on family medicine right now, and the clinic that I'm at is absolutely massive. We see 20,000 patients that are rostered at this clinic, which is way bigger than anything I've ever seen before, but they are divided up over nine or 10 different doctors. I'm located like in the heart of Niagara Falls right now. I have to pass by the casino in the morning to get here so that's really cool because uh, this is a totally new like patient population for me too but so far everything's been really good i really like family medicine in the first few days uh, but i'm gonna go inside right now we'll do the shift and we'll see you guys in a little bit <laughs> So I just got back from my shift right now. It's about six o'clock ish. Normally my shifts run from about 8.15 to about 5.30. And then by the time I get home, somewhere around six o'clock. But let's talk about like the state of family medicine and what I'm doing as a student right now when I go in. In Ontario, we are currently in the middle of another provincial lockdown, which means that for the last week, about 90% of all the patients that I've seen have been all like telemedicine visits. So basically what happens is I get a list of patients that I go and I call um, and then I take a nice thorough history. I follow up on what their complaint is. And then after I take that information and I present it to the doctor that I'm working with. And, and thankfully me and the doctor that I'm with absolutely hit it off the first like two or three days. So we got like a really good team going on and I've really been enjoying the whole like family medicine aspect today. We had one in-person patient today, which which was this cute little baby girl. She was a two month old baby girl. And as far as family medicine goes, the babies are definitely my favorite. First, I had to do like a wellness baby check and it's the cutest thing ever because you're listening to their heart, their lungs, you're feeling like their head and they're just staring at you. And sometimes they'll play with your stethoscope or something and they're, they're so cute. But anyways, I had mentioned before that things are getting crazy around here and that's not really family medicine's fault. As far as clerkship goes, there's all the different mandatory rotations that we have to do. And family medicine from what I hear isn't really the most stressful one, but it's just this whole adapting to clerkship that's kind of thrown me off so far because the process of working a full-time job, doing your nine hour shift during the day, and then coming home and you still have to study and you still have to cook dinner, you still gotta get ready for tomorrow, make your notes. In my case, you still gotta run a YouTube channel, you still gotta film and edit and all these different things. So there's a lot that I gotta do tonight, but none of that is gonna happen before I get something to eat, so let's go do that next. So this is definitely what you guys wanna avoid. I have no food left in my fridge, and I just went shopping on Monday, but all I got left are some vegetables that I cooked before, and I got some guacamole, and I got tzatziki sauce for, for days. I got all the tzatziki sauce that I want, but thankfully uh, on top of that, I also keep some emergency frozen meat in here just in case I'm ever totally out of food. So we'll cook up some of these and then uh, I guess I'll keep going with studying. Now, 
Now, I said earlier that I was officially starting clerkship, and for those of you that don't know, clerkship refers to the second half of medical school, whereas in the first half of medical school, it's all strictly classroom and learning based. There's a lot of like similarities to undergrad in terms of you learn the material and then you're tested on it in a very similar fashion to undergrad. In the second half of medical school, now I'm going to be full time working with the doctors in the hospitals and community clinics and other places like that. And basically everything that goes on for the next year and a half is going to be leading up directly to my residency applications when I'm then going to apply and hopefully get accepted to my first choice residency uh, and then eventually become a doctor after that. We're halfway there. This is the halfway point right now. So I guess that means it's time to work twice as hard. So one of the things that's really different in clerkship so far compared to like the first half of medical school is that in the first half, I was doing a lot of Anki cards and a lot of more learning the pathophys and memorization, whereas now we kind of take it a little bit further. So for example, um, we came across a, a patient earlier on this week that had some uh, some symptoms of stroke. We were trying to investigate a possible stroke. So whereas before it was enough for me to know the general signs and symptoms of stroke, ways that we could manage it, now I'm expected to know the full workup and tests that I should be ordering and what are the indications for certain ones. So my favorite resources for these, um, online anyways, the free ones that you can sign up for is actually the uh, eMed, uh, eMedicine, Medscape, this resource here is awesome. It has everything that you need in terms of like the different tests and treatments and everything. And I've really been finding that helpful so far. So I'm probably studying for around two to maybe two and a half hours per day that I'm full time um, in the clinic for clerkship right now. And my philosophy is that a doctor should be able to ask you a question that you don't know the answer to one time. But the next time they ask you that same question, you better know the answer. So uh, whenever I get asked something that I don't know, I write it down in my little family medicine book here. And then I come home later on at night and I'll do my homework and make sure that I know it for next time. So I was falling asleep while I was doing my homework. So I thought now would be a good time to break things up a little bit, throw in a quick workout and have a lot of you guys that were asking me lately how I'm staying in shape with all of the, the lockdowns going on. And it's tough guys, but you don't gotta get too complex when it comes to your workouts. I got a two day split going on right now. I do one day upper body and one day lower body. I got super minimal equipment. Wait till you see this. I got just these two dumbbells right here. They're not even real dumbbells. My dad made these for me out of concrete. And I have a weighted vest that I use for all of my calisthenic stuff. And then I have a jump rope right there. So it's really not that hard. I'm going to go ahead and throw up some cool fitness channels that I really like in terms of like learning new exercises and stuff. But keep it simple, do what you can. And hopefully the gyms are going to open back up again soon because this is the year that I'm finally going to hit the four plate deadlift. There are a lot of fitness goals that I got to get this year. guys and that's going to be the end of the video for today it's about 11 50 right now and i'm just finishing up with a little bit more work and then hopefully i could wrap this up and go to sleep by 12 o'clock now i don't really know how much value this video is going to provide you guys for today but i wanted to make it just to update everyone and show you what's been going on in my life recently um the way the program's working out and, and what my schedule looks like it's you know, just, just looking back at the day, watching a few pieces of the footage over, it's it's been pretty busy. It's a full day, uh, 18 hours on, and then six hours of sleeping, repeat the thing the next day. And it was a big, it's definitely been a big switch so far. And I think that uh, I'm gonna keep noticing that as the different rotations come through. Like this is still family medicine. I wonder what it's gonna look like on internal med and then even general surgery. It's gonna get hectic. And there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes too, in terms of starting up new research projects and putting together presentations and just a few other things that I'm trying to manage at the same time. I'm just trying to find my way. This is this is all new for me and I wanna show it to you guys. Even, you know, we're gonna show the, the struggles and also the highs when those eventually come up as well. And don't get me wrong, there's been lots of them so far. So yeah, that has been a productive day in my life. It was an awesome day. And uh, one thing that I hope you guys take out of it is that you gotta set your goals and focus on getting them done. If you put something in your head that you wanna get it done, then you're gonna get it done. And that's my goal for 2021. There's all these things that I wanna accomplish. Now it's time to just put 
my head down, put the headphones on and get to work. And I hope you guys could do the same. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy for me either, but we're going to get it done together. So here's to an awesome year, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by for today's video. We will see you all in the next one next week. Everyone take care. Thank you.